What's up, y'all? It's your boy Leon. I'm some cool. This is Rahim Geek. Welcome to my channel. This is Movie Catch Up. About to do three movies right now that I've watched because I couldn't have like time to watch them in the cinema when they came out digital HD or Blu ray or whatever. I got the time to watch them, so now I'm giving you my thoughts about them. Even that one of them I think is fairly recent though. Anyway. First movie is Peter Rabbit. This movie is phenomenal. It's funny as hell. Ah, oh, like James Gordon and and the dude who played Benjamin. I think that the rabbit was. They were funny as hell. But Margot Robbie, Daisy Ridley, Ridley, and uh, Elizabeth pff, murdered me. They were like legit the most the most phenomenal thing about this movie. Margot Robbie's relationship with Elizabeth and Daisy Ridley. One man. One woman, I mean, not to be sexist or whatnot, or come out weird. <laughs> One woman rapped. She was phenomenal. The whole rip gag killed me. The aggressiveness of that character was hilarious. I couldn't stop laughing every time she popped on the scene. She was so phenomenal. The voice fit that rabbit attitude. Like, I only know her as Ray and like that one episode in Younger. <laughs> <laughs> so this was a nice treat. I, I should check out other movies where she's, where she's quite an amazing person. Um, this was so phenomenal. Like I said, it's mostly my interpretation of this was mostly a character driven ish. It's Peter Rabbit and that dude who's moving up, like moving in, trying to sell the house with all the love with the neighbor that Peter seems to love also. And they had this back and forth thing of trying to get affection, or trying to kick each other out, trying to kill each other. <laughs> a lot of times, oh my god, dude, it was so dark. Like, I don't know if this movie's directed for kids, but it was so dark. I legit give this movie a 10 out I mean, an 8 out of 10. <laughs> 8 out of 10. I almost said 10 out of 10, but nah, it's not a 10 out of 10 movie. It is cutesy at times. You know what I'm saying? There are places times where they went there, I was like, alright, this movie is awesome, it was hilarious, also, the deer, deer in headlights, headlights, oh, oh, what else killed me, um, the rooster, oh, murdered me so much, everything, it was yelling, this movie was so funny, like, straight up funny, like, Peddington has some competition, I hope this becomes a franchise, like, this was phenomenal, like, Oh, this is phenomenal, I won't even lie to you. The next movie is another Margot Ruby movie, it's Terminal. Mm. What a mindfucker movie. I love how they only explain what's really going on at the end. You just there sitting, like they are in most of the movies, sitting, listening to what they say, wondering what's going on with Margot Ruby's character. I kind of picked up there was two different people that were so distinctly different every time you saw them. Like it was either a collar thing or hairstyle or like you saw there were subtle differences. I, I knew like yo there's about to be a twist. First I won't lie, I didn't know there was just two of them. I thought there were so many. <laughs> I won't lie, because of the wig changes and what I thought there was like so many. I was like, yo, did they clone this girl? Because they didn't really explain that much. But my mind was cold in other places. Uh Simon was cool. All the other supporting characters were cool. Mark Myers. Like, this movie was so trippy and was so light driven, like, the lighting in this movie was phenomenal. Like, from the lumen, luminescent lights that came out through the window, the blue, the red, the way it was meticulously used, and all the white when you saw what was really happening, like, that scene where they were, like, surgery, they fought, like, surgically torturing their father in, their, in that nurse uniform. It was phenomenal, yo. The silhouette lightings, all that. Also, that they had a lot of funny moments like that. Those two dudes trying to rob every person who keeps passing the terminal and going horribly wrong. That was phenomenal. This movie was an 8 out of 10. It was so beautifully made, though. Like, you can't hate on how beautifully made it is. And it was smart. They put one mother room in front of that thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You put one of her and you make it makes you think, oh, this is one person basically playing with everybody's emotions, but nah, this is 
two sisters who went through a shitload. Oh my god, those two little girls who played her, so adorable. Like, they, they make you so empathetic to what happened that you can't hate on it. 8 out of 10. Phenomenal. Definitely gonna watch it again. Um, Third movie, Tomb Raider. I was really excited for this movie because of Elizabeth Candler. Some people say, you know, they made her to normal for the movie. I thought she was beautiful. Oh my god, this woman is so gorgeous. How can you make her normal? Like, damn, Michael Fassbender, you know your shit. <laughs> this movie was amazing. This is the greatest Laura Craft origin story ever. Like, you saw her training. You saw her live a normal life. You saw her leave her inheritance. Scared of to face the realism of her father passing. Damn, she had to go through her father passing twice. Damn, it's like vision all over again. <laughs> it was beautifully shot. The cinematography was amazing. It was cool seeing Sunny from Into the Badlands. The dude who played the bad guy was cool and you understood his motive. Even though how vague they were about it. Because I was watching with other people and they seemed not to get it. But I got it from instantly because I was really paying attention when he was talking about his daughters. And they kept on showing that, that, that frame of his daughters. Why he's so anxious into leaving. To think they were hiding some like that woman sacrificed herself because of that pathogen she had. I don't know if I'm saying the word right. <laughs> My bad. Um, uh, that was an admirable move. The fact that she was willing to die to save everybody else from dying from it. I was like, whoa, big ups, big ups. This was a phenomenal move. Like I said, that. I hope they continue with this franchise. This was a great origin. This was one of the best adapted game like like movies ever for my opinion. Because even the way she was moving when she was going through the camp, you know, hiding the hot spot, moving through the, the bushes, hiding, like holding that boy and arrow. I was like, what? It's like I'm playing the game, you know what I'm saying? Like I hope they continue, but people don't show up in the box office. So sad, including myself, sadly. But I was broke. What's your excuse? <laughs> I give this movie an 8 out of 10. Like it's, it's a legit, a great origin. Even when she, she got those guns at the end, I was like, oh man, we're about to get so much more. I hope somebody's smart enough to continue. Maybe they were smart enough to continue with the Fifty Shades franchise, even though a lot of people hated it. I, I give them props for finishing what they started. That's admirable shit even though I didn't like that franchise but I gave him props for it. watched every movie because I gave him props for it. like people who take the initiative you know what I'm saying his dad was crazy dog when the way he believed that story like his belief in the supernatural was also something to behold like his belief made her believe it made you believe because you were seeing the whole movie through her lenses you know what I'm saying but it was a phenomenal movie, but she, she lost the father twice. Give him props for doing that shit. Even that big reveal for the sequence that that woman who was taking care of her was the leader of that organization. Yo, and it was like piecing everything together. It's like you were, were putting all the puzzle pieces together. That's why I had to continue with this franchise too good to pass on, you know what I'm saying, it's too good, it's too good. <sighs> the third movie is Anon, don't know if I'm saying that right, Anon, I mean fourth movie, fourth movie, Anon. Ah, this movie is phenomenal because of the POV, the, the use of POV is phenomenal, from the sci-fi element to it, to just the perspective element to it, how even the bad guy used that technology, the POV-ness. To trick everybody believing that the girl was the the killer. My thoughts though, like, did she sleep with her clients because she did not have an identity? Like she erased herself? Because that's the only human connection she could have because of the life she lived. That's why she gave it up to most of her clients. Because that's the closest human connection she could have. That was, that was sweet and touching for me, honestly. I was like, yo. She, that's kind of so sad, if you understand what I'm saying. The reveal of that dude was unexpected, which was nice. 
because I did not see it coming. I actually thought, yo, this girl's a bitch when she was touching that dude, making him place his kids dead over and over again. I was like, yo, she didn't seem like this person. Um, the deaths were crazy, though. <laughs> They're crazy, though, making you see yourself about to die. A lot of people, I was like, dude, why aren't you moving? Like, they were just like, I don't see. But you gotta have the mental capacity to be like, the gun is over here. Let me just do this real quick and throw a jab or something. None of them did that shit. They just let themselves die. Like, oh, I can't see you. I can't see you. I can't see you. I was like, what? That was one of the trippiest moments about this, yeah. And that woman who, I guess she blamed the, the detective dude for the son's death because she was just so messed up at the time he needed to talk about the son. I was like, yo, man, he lost the son until I found out that he was somewhat the cause for it. I was like, oh, so she's holding resentment and shit like that. So it's a phenomenal move. I give this movie like a 7.5. It's not perfect. Cinematography is amazing. The idea, the premise is phenomenal. Oh. Yeah, that's all I got to say about this movie. I'm definitely going to watch it again and appreciate it. Like if I was ever to do POV type of story, short film, and this is a great reference point. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, anyway. Like if you like my thoughts, subscribe if you're not subscribed, if you are, thank you, deuces.